Oh! Oh, oh, oh Look at all these monsters right here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Dude, they just look so insane next to the pond. Think about when they're actually in it. It's gonna be so sick. Look at the blackos. That is so crazy. Come on. Woo. I'm not feeling too hot, boys. My jugulars just got taken out. Check out that bin of fish right there. Tiger shovel nose and a peacock bass. Oh my, oh my gosh. Beautiful. Platinum red tail catfish. This is a big moment, bro. Look at that. Straight platinum, baby, they're going in. Wow. It's just <laughs> insane, dude. Look at the, oh. Look at all these monsters. Look at them all. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. Today is the day. It's finally the day. We've all been waiting for months and months and months for this moment. I'm here with my buddy, Brenton. All Brenton, the way from Texas. Brenton Zackleton. We've got multiple camera angles here, another one over there, but we're gonna be essentially taking all my monster fish out of this pond right here, this massive 3,600 gallon, and upgrading them over to our 5,500 gallon in the fish building. If you've been watching the last couple of weeks, every single day we are uploading, we have been building one of my biggest projects yet, and that is called the Amazon Corner. From the very start, where we had this pond that wasn't even put together yet, we had fiberglassed it together. After fiberglassing together, we had to paint it, after painting it, we built the deck, the dock, and so much more. Big shout out to Hector and the boys for helping me out and staying up till like 3 a.m. doing that. If you've been watching the entire series of this pond, I thank you, one, and two, you know exactly what's about to go down right now. It is gonna be insane. And now how are we gonna get these fish, you may ask? Brenton, give her a toss. I'm so sorry, that was bad. You know, one more toss. And now how are we gonna get these fish, you may ask? Toss her. This rubber net. The garbage shark just pulled up, so ignore the noise. We're using a very specific net. It is made out of rubber so that the fish's fins don't get stuck and uh, harm the fish in any way, or also even take the slime coat off. Ah, it's the day. Oh! Nice and, nice and 73 degrees. That's what I like to see. Look at the pile of them. I know. I'll let you get the GoPro angle. I got that. Go slow. I know. They won't be able to see it. Oh! Numero. Uno! Oh yeah. Fish number one is in. We're gonna try to get the other three Oscars I think I have. Now unfortunately over the months, these catfish have definitely eaten some of the fish. I haven't seen the fire eel in a while. That thing got slurped by a red tail. <laughs> Didn't even see it. That is a stud of an Oscar, dude. Wow. That is an alpha male right there. Awesome freaking Oscar. Oh, slippery. Two more Oscars right here. Oh, and a Pleco. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wow. I got both Oscars that's and a Pleco, dude. Holy that, big mama. That's the Rhino Pleco, bro. I haven't seen him in a while. He just hides down there. Hi, big mama. My goodness, that is a stud. Big old Rhino Plecosimus right there. Look at that mouth. Hear him? Jerry. And two massive Oscars. Oh my gosh. That's epic. Look how big he got. That is one beautiful fish right there. I think that thing's $1,000? Probably, yeah. That's I bought awesome. it for 700 when it was like a quarter of the size. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I mean, gosh. then again, the fish market is very fluctuant. Uh -huh. Those things could probably be worth $200 now for all I know. Bad investment. Very bad investment. That'd be a horrible. <laughs> Look at all these monsters right here. We got two beautiful, thick tiger Oscars. Look at the colors on that Oscar. My goodness. These plecos. That albino is such a stud. Ah! So me and Brenton are gonna pick up this bin and bring it over. These will be the first fish to go into the new pond. Oh, that work. Turn them lights down low. Oh yeah. Here we go. Dude, they just look so insane next to the pond. Think about when they're actually in it. It's gonna be so sick. What the heck? Look at, that, look at the catfish. Oh. Our iridescent catfish from last video is absolutely loving the new pond. So I threw the stick in from the 3600 gallon. This pond is a little bit, very, very slightly cloudy. We just had put this water in not too long ago. So once I set up the second filtration with active carbon and filter floss this afternoon, that will definitely help with that. But for the most part, it's crystal clear. Let's go with the albino Oscar first. Okay. Oh, oh, big mama. Big go. mama. Oh, this is awesome. Here we go. All oh, the water temperature is the same, yep. bro. 
There you go. There you go. Look at it. What's in here? Is it cool? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, it's so sick. That's the sickest thing ever. Oh, bro, I didn't think it would look this cool. <laughs> it looks awesome. We're all admiring it. We're all like, hey, Gio. What's going on, everybody? Hey, everyone's coming over to, to hang out for the fish transfer. Massive fish. Ready? Here we go. Wow, I like the darker ones in this pond better. That looks absolutely insane, dude. Gosh. Another one, another one, another one. Here we go. Oscar number four, my favorite one. Look at that fish. Mmm. Dude, it is insane having that window. It is gonna be so crazy once all the fish are in here. Both plecos, they got huge. Rhino pleco and an albino pleco. Super, super cool. Going in right here. That is sick. Now imagine, look at the Oscar. Now imagine the pleco is stuck to the glass, sucking on it. There's, there's one. These little things got so oh, big, dude. Wow. Dude. They got huge. Oh, it's going buck wild. Stop it. <laughs> the next fish going in are our iridescent catfish. Now we have the albino in there. These ones are completely dark. I have two more in here. Oh, you're coming right two of them. Right, right, swimming right to you. Right, right behind the clown. Right behind the clown. That's the best one. Oh! If it wasn't for this rubber net, their fins would be torn up. So if you're ever transferring big monster fish, make sure to get that rubber net. It won't let their fins get stuck all up in the mesh. To see how big these catfish got is mind blowing. The nuts thing is you have an albino one. I know. Look they're, at they're all gonna swim together. Look at that, dude. So cool. All right, iridescents all head into the fish building right now. All right, I don't want to get spined. There you go. How beautiful that is. So pretty. See you later, buddy. Two friends are right behind you. This guy's got a nice humpback. Looks like a little shark. Hence why they're called iridescent sharks. Yes, that, that would be why. It's so cool, dude. That is so crazy. I got these at the neighborhood fish farm over in Miami. And they were not this big, I'll tell you that. See you later. I think you were renting with me when I got these. Yeah, I missed my flight, actually. <laughs> I say we get a big ass red tail. Bro, I've been so excited to do that. Can <laughs> let's, we please? Let's do a big, let's do a big red tail catfish. This we is when the video like turns into some real transfer. Yeah. I don't even think we need the bucket. We'll just run that That's thing. That's true. He will not fit. We're gonna spice it up a little bit, get a big old red tail catfish. It's crazy that you were saying film this right as that happened. I literally was just like, all right, let's start recording. That carp jumped out and hit me right in the neck, dude. <laughs> Let's get his ass. You want to hit me in the balls? I'll catch you. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh. Yes! Holy moly, look at the size of that thing. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? Is that a normal? I don't even know what that is. I'm not feeling too hot, boys. My jugulars just got taken out. Here. You want me to take that? Yeah, Frenton, you want to take that son of a <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby Gil. You're going in. All right, she's in. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's a lot of different handling these. Oh the my dude. goodness. Red tails are usually not this intelligent. There we go. All right. Big old red tail. You want me to run them? Yes, sir. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, come on. You got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh. This is like the first big exotic one to go in. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Got oh my muscle, God. All right, dude. All right, all right. Chill. I promise. I promise. I think that one's cool. Imagine platinum ones in here and albino ones. Oh my dude. goodness! Crazy. It's so big. All right, the next fish we're gonna get out are probably like a couple of the marble dakaras and the tiger shovel nose. So we're gonna get the bin and get like four catfish at once. <laughs> Check out this. Check out this hybrid right here. This hybrid has one eyeball, has one eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, like, and it's not even like he's got a little dip. His second eye is completely gone. No eyeball. And then this side, eyeball. Wow. Isn't that sick? That's crazy. Hybrid. Come over the car. It's a big one, though. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh my. Oh. That's a stud. Oh. Thank goodness I bought those bins yesterday. All right, guys. Oh, right there. Yep. You got him. Oh, good snag. Wow. Good snag. Oh, you know, you're good. You're good. Work with me. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. 
tag. This thing is so pretty, dude. They don't play around. They do not play around, bro. These catfish are insane. Oh! I got that on video. It's a peacock, dude. <laughs> yeah, get that cock. Get that, that peacock. Get that peacock. Come on, peacock. He's jumping. He's gonna jump. Oh, oh my, my god. god, they're like little trout. There he is. He's right here. He's right oh. here. He's gonna jump and hit me in the face. Oh got you! Well, peacock bass. <laughs> I'm gonna get the jag and then we're dipping. Beautiful. Such a wow. such a beautiful species right there. Jaguar cichlid. Check out that bin of fish right there. Mobile car, tiger shovel nose, tiger shovel nose hybrid with one eye. Jaguar cichlid and a peacock. It's a lot of fish, bro. Very excited to get this collection into the fish building. It's a nice workout. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Peacock bass. It's crazy. We grew that one. Tiger shovel nose and a peacock bass. See you later, buddy. So sick. So dope. Now you saw the peacock bass jump. That's why we were at the fish store the other day. I had bought that massive net because after we put all these fish in, we'll throw the net over for the next couple of days. Warm with the car. All right. I feel like I'm in the Amazon, like releasing a fish I just yeah. caught. All right, one more. You do the next one. I'll get the GoPro. Sure. Right. Tiger shovel nose. That's my favorite combo. Oh my goodness. Look at those strings. Oh! Oh! Bro, it's so cool seeing them in here. They look so tiny in here. Compared to how they looked in that one, they look tiny. A little jaggy. A little jaguar. That was awesome. And now the last one for this bin is a massive marbled Akara. These things are super, super beautiful. He's actually had this little messed up fin since he was a little baby. You see that little, that little fin right there? He's no. had, yeah, he's got a little, Nemo fin. yeah. He's legit literally just like Nemo. We're gonna name you Nemo, buddy. My gosh, look at the size. Look at that. <laughs> is that not the craziest thing? They're so chill. So chill. He's got some meat on him too. It's thick. Oh! Oh! Thick. That one got it! Oh. That one really might have broke the camera. Hey, bro. Oh, I didn't even see the soft show in there. A little He's soft show. <laughs> I'll get the soft show. Pinocchio! It's been so long, buddy. Like Brenton is inside the pond to get, a, get the next fish going in. Uh, just net any of them, even a platinum. What, what are you doing, doing there, bud? Stealth. It's everything. Oh yeah. Right in. Platinum red tail, baby. All right. Run with me. We're running? Yeah, we're running. Oh. That is such a beautiful fish right there. We're running! Get him, go! go get him, go! Get him! <laughs> Pinocchio, our soft shell turtle. There he goes, Pinocchio. So now that our soft shell turtle is in, we have a big old and the very first platinum red tail going into the pond. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was awesome! Wow. To see that fish in here is heartwarming. They, uh, they do get you quite wet. There's nothing wrong with being wet. But, thank you sir. Good work. Thank you. Oh my gosh! Beast. Dude. Massive. Beast. Head on that thing. Bro. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Dude, these fish, we're gonna have all of us absolutely drenched by the time we're done. This right here is my largest red tail catfish. I actually had an even bigger one, but unfortunately, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you saw one of the issues we had in that pond at one point, killed off a couple catfish, like two or three, and my biggest red tail was one of those three. Which was unfortunate, but we did have a bunch of catfish, and this guy ended up pulling through and just becoming an absolute tank of a red tail catfish. Look at that tail. On it. See how red that is? And the yellowness. Big old face on them. Oh. There, that's the noise they make. On the very front of the head. All around. Fish. Look at that. One of the most beautiful fish. There you go, buddy. My favorite fish. I know, I've said that like 10 times. They're all my favorite, okay? These are literally my pride and joy. I've grown most of these since they were this big. Time for another platinum red tail. Let's do it. Before the platinum, I want to. That's another rhino pleco. I did have two of those. This is our second rhino placosimus right there. These are really, really cool. They're just literally just like a little rhino. That's the perfect way to put it. Yeah. This is David's favorite. My favorite. Come on, buddy. Yes. There he is. Dude, holy Dude. stomach. Oh. Oh my. Oh. 
Why is he so fat? I want to see this. I want to see this. Look at the little saw on the back of him. See the saw? Look, Look at how sharp that is. Of him, dude. That's gnarly. Look at that belly. Oh, oh he is. Oh. Woo. That's called the Raphael catfish. Wow, nice. that rib saw catfish got massive. Was that like the same kind of thing? All these fish in here are armored. Every, all three of these so far. This right here is a rib saw catfish. I'm sure you've seen them before in other people's tanks and ponds. They're pretty common when people get predatory fish, but this is a, just a little baby actually. I'm like walking around the pond, like what else can I find? <laughs> oh my gosh! This little guy was very, very hard to catch. Little baby peacock bass. We've had him since he was a small one too. One of my favorites. I know I say favorite a lot, but this actually is the clown knife fish. Oh, the clown knife fish. Check out this bucket of exotic fish. I mean, we've got a Raphael catfish, rhino pleco, baby peacock bass, this beautiful knife fish right here, which is doing absolutely amazing in the pond. And these, th these fish literally swim backwards. So you'll see, watch them reverse off my hand. See that? <laughs> it's crazy. When you're catching them in the wild, because we have them in Lake Ida, on shiners you'll catch them in shad. They literally will swim backwards and it feels so weird on the fishing rod. Alright. The little menace. A menace right there. See you, buddy. Big Rhino Pleco. I'm grabbing our tail. Alright, I'll grab rib saw. Be careful, that thing will mess you up. Rib saw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, belly on him, dude. It's a bulldog. I think it's honestly uh, quite possibly even, I don't know for a fact, but like a defense mechanism. Like a puffer fish. Yeah. A puffer fish puffs up. All right, now the knife fish, the clown knife. This is one of the definitely the most beautiful fish that we have. So pretty. Let's, uh, let's get him in. Look at that, yeah. dude. <laughs> so beautiful. See you later, knife. Now walking up the stairs to see all my monsters from above is truly incredible. They don't look as big in this pond, but uh, a lot of them are actually hiding in this. Look at all the catfish up underneath the wood. Until they get used to this pond, they're probably gonna hide like that. But you can see a lot of the fish are out. Look how sick the knife fish looks. I think the clown knife might be one of my favorites in this pond. Like, because you could see the way they swim. You got the pleco up stuck on the side already. Iridescents all doing circles. They're also all very stressed. I mean, it's a big move. It's a very big move. Stressful move for not only the fish, but myself. And uh, these fish are going to take a little bit to acclimate into this for sure. But they'll be out roaming around probably by tomorrow, to be honest with you. Hey, speaking about knife fish, there's a royal right there and an arowana up here. And both you guys will be into this pond eventually as well. I do need to figure out something with the arowana stuff because I want to put the albino arowana in here. I also plan to get silver arowanas and stuff. So I do need to figure out net wise, top of the pond wise, maybe lower the water level a little bit, some way to keep them from jumping out. If you have any ideas, comment down below, let me know. Woo, through the window is just so different. Tiger shovel nose. All right, we are about to get the most expensive and most beautiful fish that I own. I have four of them total. That's a phantom. We already brought one of the phantoms over. This is a platinum right here. And probably the most expensive fish I own, right there. That fish. Probably around $3,000 for that. It's insane. And then we have this guy right here, which is also another platinum. He's just got a little bit more dark. He's so pretty. So after all this transferring is done, the plan for this pond is to switch up this wood right here, keep the same rock wall, but the inside I want to do blue liner. So we're going to be doing a little bit of renovation to the 3600 gallon, making it even cooler than it is. And then these koi fish will end up coming back out of the 55 and back into here once that's all set up. Come on, buddy. Just like that. Smoothest transition. Come here, buddy. Oh my goodness, they got so big, dude, it's insane. Feeding all of them, David, feeding them like we have been. Pays off. Stop. Oh my gosh. Woo! Probably 15 pounds, right? Probably about 10 pounds. Oh my goodness, those platinums in the sun is just another level of beauty. If they're gold, they're glistening. It literally looks like 24 karat gold. It's got two perfect little black dots on the back tails. This beautiful red. My God. <laughs> Can't get enough of them, man. You got one more. 
Oh, such a stud. It's this a one's got, This one's got shoulders on him, dude. Oh, oh, oh look at him. The, that's the biggest oh, one. Oh, goodness. That is the oh. biggest one. That might be the biggest. That tub right there has a solid ten thousand dollars in it. <laughs> you could just take this to the pawn shop. These are my most prized possession for sure. I take the most pride in these three fish right here, and this one missing, but the other one's a phantom. Not that it's not as cool, but these are like, these are the, the juice right here. I don't think you guys really understand what these things feel like. It's like a snake almost. It feels like beautiful platinum red tail catfish. So insane. Look at the red. Ready, boy? Oh, yeah, this one. Let's get it. This is the big moment, bro. Look at that. Straight platinum, baby. They're going in. My biggest platinum. Wow. It's just <laughs> insane, dude. Look at the. Oh. <laughs> Look at the tail. That red tail. See you later, buddy. My goodness. I feel like I'm dreaming. Wake up, Paul. Wake up, buddy. Wake up. And I pinch me. <laughs> pinch me, pinch me, dude. He's had time to rest. They got a little black spot on the back of them. Check out that orange head. Look at the window. Look at the window. Woo! Look at the size of that fish. Insane. See you later, buddy. How nice crazy job. is that, bro? That's insane. Platinums are all in. We do have Mr. Beast. <laughs> not, not the YouTuber. The oh, fish. The okay. fish. Yeah, oh, the, the okay. fish. Yeah. Was, oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to hype you up like oh. that. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's some professional netting right there. Koi fish that will soon come out of here, but for now. They kind of look cool in there. They do. Wow. There was a nice little yeah. color. It's a little bit of color in there. They're already schooled up. We just put them in. And I was like, oh my god. I caught the melon a cigar as I was scooping water in the bucket. This is one of the most prehistoric fish I own for sure. Actually, it's one of the most sought after fish I own as well. I've had a lot of people hit me up for this fish in particular. They're really hard to get. And this is an all black, hence why it's called melanistic. And he's a muncher too, you know how he eats. Oh yeah. Just boom! <laughs> I'm gonna get the hybrid right now. We call him Mr. Beast because he's an absolute stud and all he wants to do is eat. Not that Mr. Beast, the YouTuber, wants to eat 24 seven, but. <laughs> that's why his name is Mr. Beast. Oh, that's why his name is Mr. Beast. Oh, that's the largest catfish. Oh. All right, chill out, dude. Chill out. Massive hybrid. His name is actually Beast. I just added the Mister because I think it's now it's like you know. Mm -hmm. I could use it as a title and thumbnail. Putting oh, Mister Beast in. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's get her done. The last two fish. Oh, look at the knife fish. Oh, that's a sick shot. Dude. That is so sick. Just chilling. That's what we're gonna see so much on this channel now. We're going to really, really be able to see our exotic fish, which in that pond they were cool, but from above. Now we get to see not only clear, clear water, blue background, but we have window shots. It is time to get the very last two fish into the pond. We're gonna start off with Beast here. He's not gonna like me touching him, that's for sure. We're gonna make this quick, very quick. Look at this, oh, right in. He, didn't, he did not wanna be held any longer. <laughs> he just, whoop. You can see how big he is compared to the other ones. And now, he's got even more space to get even bigger. See the knife fish's tail, a platinum coming at us. There's the giant oh. fish we just put in. Fish just, oh. just. Dude, you should see this tree on the oh. It's insane. And we're ending it with you, baby Gil. Now, if you guys could do me a favor, this is a very big, big thing. This fish doesn't have a name, and it's a very big part of the channel, this melanistic gar. Just take a minute, go down below to the comment section, and comment a name for our melanistic gar. I want you watching to name this fish. Whatever comment has the most likes for the gar's name 
that's gonna be its name. Drop your comments. You could comment 50 times if you want. So let's see how creative you guys can get with the names in the comments down below. This is truly like not a one of a kind fish because people do have them, but they're definitely sought after and less seen in the fish community. You don't see these often. A melanistic gar, jet black. Really, really cool. I would love to get one of the gar that are like orange. I see some people have, these are very dangerous fish as well though. He's got some teeth. I wish I brought the net just for this moment. It's gonna be super hard. We'll Slippery, just take it right? slow, we'll take it slow, there's no rush. Come on, buddy. Okay. I don't wanna risk like pulling him out and up here he gets out, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll just give him a second to chill. He's gonna look the coolest in the pond too. Oh! See? Perfect. That's what I, I didn't want to happen on land. He went, little head dive. Was not the most graceful release. He's in, and obviously he's landing right into the water, so. No harm done, wow. All the monsters are in! Round of applause! Like I had said, after we put all the fish in, we need to get our massive net. I think I bought a big enough one. Most, most, most definitely. Not even halfway through the roll. All right, I bought way too big of a net. You never could go too big. Right over. So although it's not the prettiest, but like I said, for the next couple of days, we need the pond to be completely netted over. That way if anything gets scared, they're not familiar with their area, their surroundings, they're gonna jump, they're gonna scatter, they're gonna bump each other at night, especially when the lights go off. We wanna be safe and have a net like this over it. So that's what we're doing right now. We'll just pull it tight, like that, and then clip it. Beautiful, beautiful. I actually couldn't have done it any better. Look at that, it's not even on the water. We did it, Kefaros, finally. Look at that. That's crazy, dude. Oh my goodness. You barely even notice the nets on it. You jump in. <laughs> I turn around, I'm like, what's going on? What do you mean you're ready? I am gonna pick up this camera in just a couple hours, maybe even tomorrow, just to show you these fish in a bit more comfortable manner, if you know what I'm saying. They'll just kind of be like, that was a little too much, okay. Yeah, yeah I'll see you in the morning. Peacock just chilling. Oh, hey, Jag. Wow, Kaferos, we have officially done it. I mean, look at this pond. Everything is doing so amazing. It's actually the afternoon of the next day, so these fish have been in here for hours and hours now. Before Brenton had left, he surprised me with a silver arowana for the pond. So we also now have a silver arowana, along with our albino one that's over there, right, right in that tank. This whole entire project has been absolutely incredible from the start until now, and I didn't say finished for a reason because we are not even close to being done. We have the artificial trees coming. I have some more fish I wanna get for this. Of course, there's some more things to do in the filtration. We've got things to do, so make sure you stay tuned for the upcoming videos. I actually have Hector coming tomorrow because kinda just like what we did right here, this deck, we are gonna be doing the exact same thing over here for the turtles. So we have a lot of people that love turtles on here, especially myself. We're doing a deck right here just like that and then we're gonna stain the deck. We're gonna stain the deck. And this is all gonna be for our baby turtles that are all over here. So that project will definitely be going down next week. We don't stop around here. That's why I tell you guys, make sure you're subscribed down below with your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. This right here though, folks, is absolutely amazing. I'm obviously gonna clean up this net. And if I end up leaving a net, I will leave it just above the water surface and I'll have like little you won't see it over the side. Only reason why I say is if I end up leaving the net is because we got a silver arowana and I wanna put more arowanas and more things that jump without a net. That's sketchy. All the monsters are in. It looks absolutely incredible. They look tiny. We have a lot more room and I can't wait for future videos. That's all I gotta say. I appreciate every single one of you for watching all these videos. If you haven't became a member yet, go to the link down below, become a PC member. You get exclusive videos. We're gonna be doing members only live streams. So that link is down below. Check out the merch. It's top link in the description. I wear it in every single video and I'd love to see you out in public wearing it as well. Until further ado, what an epic week. I will see you right back here Monday. The monster Monsters are in. And I couldn't be happier. Look at this. Wow. Peace out, Kaferos. Woo!